Bye, guys. Bye, guys. We're on a Nazdu training day again today. And I'm out with this bunch of reprobates. So uh, we're doing tracking training today um, and a variety of other general purpose sessions in preparation for our team's assessments next month. Whoop, whoop. Uh, the way I do the tracking is we kind of use maybe three different types of hunting abilities from a dog. So uh, there's the ground scent or the ground tracking. You have your air scenting or trailing and uh, and then obviously you've got your uh, the search element as well so any good tactical tracking dog should be able to utilize and switch between all all three different skills so uh, so the aim today is to try and build up um, their ability to uh, do a bit longer distance one of the dogs is really struggling with the tracking so we're going to keep him on, on on the basics the others we've got Arta with his dog who's, uh, who's pretty cool and can track awesomely uh, so we'll test him a little bit and then we've got Paul and uh, Neil who basically we're just trying to get a bit of consistency in the tracking problem is these guys work on really weird industrial sites so the ability to <laughs> for talcum power the ability to do the training isn't always there um, and they work a lot of hours why have you got talcum powder wind awesome well done so so here here is Arta he's our he's our our course guru and he's just demonstrating to everybody how you check for wind direction <laughs> And you've got covered in it. <laughs> that that works just as well. <laughs> Looks like you've got dandruff. <laughs> right, so I'll check in with you later, guys, while uh, I get this lot to uh, lay their tracks. So Neil's laying the track for Paul. Uh, the aim is for this is for them all to watch the sight lines to ensure that they walk in a straight line keeping the sight lines in sight because Neil then has to follow Paul in about 40 minutes and let him know whether or not he's on or off so he's looking for some sight lines on his right hopefully there we are. Has he found some? There we are. So he's kicking in the turn to make it what we call a hot spot, just to give the dog a little bit of a a boost on the corner, and then he sight lines. There. Good. So what's this half hour? Yeah. So, yeah. Still quite fresh. It's 33 minutes past 10 now, so. What's that feeding of the line, Paul? Because you're still very rigid with the line. So make sure he commits before you go with him. Don't just wander with him aimlessly. That's it. That's better. That's nice, that. He tracks. Give him a bit of line. Look at the difference in his body shape. He sinks into the harness. Feed that line back and forth. Don't let it go dangly. There we are. Look, that's much better. Watch his body language. Stand, stand your ground. He tells you when he's lost it. Cast him round. You need to learn to feel that tracking line a bit better. There, see the diff. Wait till he commits, just wait. You should feel a difference in his body when he, tr when he commits to it. See the difference? 
Yep. Is he on it? Got it. track so I'm just looking for sight lines to do my left turn and there we are I've got them so in order to pass the level three the idea is that handlers should be able to follow a track that was laid an hour ago and they should be tracking for at least 20 minutes a distance of about a mile that's basically the assessment a variety of terrains and a variety of changes of direction so the aim of the sight lines is to ensure that i can follow the track and i keep walking in a straight line because the issue is stay on the footpath the issue is hold on going to find a sight line to put this article down there we are. so the issue is most people balance towards one leg or the other and if you go in across a hill or down a hill so it's a bit boggy then you will usually find that ooh, really boggy you will usually find that you're, uh, you favour one side and you don't really walk in a straight line. So sight lines allow you to make sure you walk in a straight line. So basically sight lines, you use two immovable objects. So it may be a tree and a signpost or, or a, a bench and a tree or a post or the side of a building line like the... Uh, like the apex of the roof anything or even like a drain pipe depending on where you're laying your tracks but they have to be immovable what you don't want to do is pick a, a, a car on the side of the road and a pipe because the likely is when you come back to check your track the car will have moved I have uh, <laughs> seen somebody lay a track using a cow in the field and lo and behold the cow moved yeah so as long as you keep those two sight lines in in line with each other Theoretically, you should remain in a straight line. But also that allows me then to follow the handler and let them know, if I, if I know my sight lines, I can let them know if they are on or off the track. And if they go irretrievably wrong, I can help them find the track again, which is the important bit. So it's lovely weather for this today. It's nice and damp and cool on the ground, which is lovely for tracking. It keeps all the moisture down, and keeps the scent down. Although the sun's come out and it's starting to warm up a bit, so the later tracks may start struggling a little bit, but I think it's that cold that we're not gonna, it's not gonna evaporate too much. Now he's uh, back in the swing of things. So our Arter always tracks on quite a short lead, it comes from a sport tracking background, uh, IPO I think it is that he's done with, uh, with Gringo, he's very accurate in what he does, so he should be coming up to an article, there we are, that's nice, good.
Okay, so that's two tracks down. That's Paul's and Art has done. Going on to uh, Twix. Her track is now bang on an hour old. Yeah. Look at the difference in the effort that she's putting in, Neil. You question her, but you don't dishearten her. So these guys are specialists in the skirt industry. However, some would just say plain special. <laughs> Look at that. Turn to what? Turn to the side. Turn to the side. Let him have the full of. Oh my God! Look at that. Uh, I'm sure when Julius Kane I made harnesses. That's the exact picture that they had in mind. Sponsorship deal. <laughs> Oh God. Uh, right, come on in Dan, your turn, let's go. Nice, picked it up, that's good. Track it a bit more pace with him, Dan. See if that helps him. When he commits, just pick your pace up a little bit. There we are, go with him. He's on it. There'll be a turn about 10 yards in front of you. You'll see it, I've kicked it into the ground. Good, well done. A lot better than last time. A lot better. That's it, he's on it. That's good, keep going. Stand still, that's it, wait. Just watch. There. That's nice, good. Just watch him on that tree. That's it, nice, good. assessment they've got to do a send away and a redirect so you have to send your dog away in a straight line to a marker 50 yards away then you have to redirect left or right to wherever the assessor tells you to do so so that's what we're training at the moment so first one up is Paul no, don't forget to give him a cue at the end don't wait for him to offer a behavior right. no. right. good Right. Is that far enough? Yep, that'll do. Well done. Are you redirecting or are you going to re reward him there? Ha <laughs> ha 
Yes. Okay. Well done. Good. That's a nice start. <laughs>